Now, in the article that I have written, and it's one of the background articles that you have, I mention the process that will help us to become Ignatian in the way in which we look at a problem, look at an opportunity, uh, look at the people around us. And I said that it was a, a threefold process that Ignatius inculcated from the beginning for young Jesuits, and were based on the ideas of attention, reverence, and devotion. You can read what I have in the article and discuss it, but let me just uh, encapsulate it here for the purpose of uh, this talk. Attention means that I allow whatever the reality of the other is to be present in the fullness of its reality to me. Now, if you put it on a larger canvas, like a culture, it means that if you go into a new culture, you don't ask the culture to relinquish its reality in order to make you comfortable. It's not traveling through a, a country like a tourist. You know, where is the McDonald's? Where's the hot water? Where's the air conditioning? These people talk funny. Uh, tourists are never really part of the culture. They're simply viewing it, but they're really not paying attention to it. They're not allowing the culture to enter their consciousness and to become part of their life. And so they go home with lots of pictures and souvenirs, but they don't really know what it is to be in Italy or in France or in India or in China, wherever it is. Uh, it's the same thing of bringing education to populations that have been ill-served. Until you know what that population really is, their language, their customs, their images, their stories, and you adapt the educational process to what is their culture, then they will really begin to learn, not as an alien process, but a process that brings to fruition, to development, to fullness, something that they love and care about and has identified them. So you can keep using other examples, but this attention means allowing the reality of the other, whether it's a kid talking to you or you talk, I'm gay. If the first thing that comes to your mind is, well, let's, let's try to work with this defect. Or is it, this is the only way this young woman or man has of knowing sexual love and expressing it, of understanding the effective jungle that is part of their own terrain and they're trying to cut through it, find out a path to maturity, until you enter and realize that this is the reality of the person, you won't help that young man or woman. So I don't want you to think of it just in terms of cosmic things like culture. It's also an individual way, and it's also the way a good administrator treats a group, an individual, a student, professors, co-workers, colleagues. Attention. Listen, be part of, and allow the reality of that other to enter your consciousness. And secondly is reverence, and reverence is not a kind of phony piety, but it means you don't try to change it, you try to understand it and accept it. That doesn't mean that later on you won't disagree with parts of it, but it means, first of all, before you can do that, the person has to feel that not only have you understood, but you have respected, you've cherished, you've allowed them to be the reality they are. When Matteo Ricci, the great Jesuit missionary in China, suddenly realized that what most missionaries were doing was imposing a European model on what the Chinese experience was. So that to be a Christian meant that they gave a Chinese, had to give up his or her culture in order to enter a European experience which had been identified as the Christian experience. But you say, that that's, you can't do that. So he began to learn the language, the stories, the customs, the science. He understood that paying attention to this also meant loving it, embracing it, and seeing it as an alternate cultural expression of the Christian experience. That was dynamite for early missionary work. But it was essential to what it was for Ritchie to be a Jesuit, and it's essential for this Ignatian leadership process. Attention and then this reverence. And then finally, out of that comes what Ignatius termed devotion. Now, devotion is a very uh, loaded, powerful, beautiful term in Ignatian vocabulary. It means finding the way God is speaking to you in this reality. And what Matteo Ricci found God was saying to him is, 
There are many ways of following God. And finally, what Ricci could say is long before we came to China, God was here. Our task is to find out how God was speaking to the Chinese, not how we bring God to the Chinese. We are giving them maybe the image of Christ as the fullness of this. But it has to be built on the foundation of their own cultural reality or it will always come as an alien truth. That God tells us this. So those three realities that I kind of develop in the article and I think deserve a lot of discussion and critique. You know, I'm, I'm one person. And all we're trying to do is invite you to take your own appropriation. But I always say that whether a person is a Muslim or a Jew, a man or a woman, or searching for faith, or strongly embedded in his or her own faith, this process is welcoming one for everybody. Everybody can practice attention, reverence, and devotion. And I think a good administrator really is someone who practices and lives this particular approach to Ignatian administration. Now, that's a lot of stuff. But I think it gives you a kind of frame for discussion, which again, I want to reiterate this, this is what is most important to this whole process of colonialism. The way you talk about this, ask questions about it, say it doesn't make any sense or I don't know what it means here. The more you take ownership, not only of our certitudes, but of our boundaries, the areas where we're still exploring, the more this will really become a colleagueship and therefore beneficial to you and to the schools you serve. Thanks for giving me this time.